exactly. And the only thinking I had I have to do is making sure that Priscilla doesn't have to heal with two units at the same time. Uh, but Marcus can take another two hits, so it's completely fine. Um, let's see. This is not in range of... Well, it's in range of a bit more than I would like. It's like two Nomads and a Wyvern, so I think I'm just gonna rescue him with Fiora. And then maybe bait over something in the process, actually. Yeah, I'm gonna bait this Wyvern. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So if Fiora goes here, then the Wyvern comes over, but everyone else stays away. Which is just how I like it. Want a bunch of... Oh, right, you're gonna pick him up. Yeah, I'm gonna go... I'm gonna see, he has an Axe Reaver, right? Everyone does. Yeah, so... Uh, yeah, here is fine, because... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven attacks here. And the Nomads cannot reach that. I think it's a big missed opportunity that these guys aren't named like Eubens' Reavers or something like that, since they all have Reaver weapons. Yeah, but then I think it's only the case in Hector Harp mode, though, or is it? Is it? No, I think in Elwood mode they definitely don't have all these Reaver weapons. I think it might be also be in um, Elwood normal. Yeah, or probably. Hector normal. Yeah. Oh, I didn't mean to drop him, but uh, is this fine? Yeah, it's fine because the enemies move first. They attack Fiora. Only one enemy is coming up, and this guy's not gonna do shit. I wish Lin could rescue him. But then it's like super slim. Um, let's see. Marcus is like one turn away from needing healing, so is his store. So I'm just gonna heal one of them. I could like equip yeah. Marcus with a weapon so that he has more chance to dodge with weapon triangle, but I don't want him to get more XP, so I think this makes more sense. Yeah, and I'll kill kill the guy eventually, won't he? So. That too. Yeah, I think this guy is actually for yeah. Get the Brave Axe, which is gonna be very good for Hawkeye. Oh yeah, I love that thing. It's great. It's, uh, it's brave. Guarantees Hawkeye. Like guarantees yeah. that he will double, which is yeah. nice. Yeah, and just so you guys know, like I realized that Ninian could dance for Priscilla if she needs to heal twice, but like even conserving Ninian H needs to be might matter, and as long as I don't need to dance, I'm not gonna dance. Um, I don't see anything else. Oh wait, I do need to heal darts, I think. That would be nice. Like, don't you reach a point where everything in the game is kinda one shot her regardless? But yeah, there's no point in giving her experience, I agree with yeah. that. It's like there's no benefit, but there might be a drawback. Yeah. It's not like racing probably. where she learns new dances or something. Like, if she could learn, like, Phyllis might by reaching a certain level, I would certainly dance a lot with her. Yeah, I would have loved that. I really like that in Radiant Dawn, how the herons learn new dances, although most of them are terrible. Yeah, and they like, also oh, I can, up so I can slowly. Replenish, I can replenish the ga gauge of one Lagoose. Whoa. <laughs> Strong. You can dance for wow. them and they just use an olive grass. <laughs> yeah, it's like, wow, that's really good. It's like, oh, I can give a unit good buyer. <laughs> hey man, the speedrun oh. uses that at one point. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine, like, it's 10% extra hit in the void, right? Couldn't be good if you, if a yeah. single unit has to see, like, a bunch of uh, fighting, I guess. Yeah. It's like a very specific kind of thing where I think he, he Kirby Masta, in, like, one of the last chapters of part three, he uses Raisin to um, buy a rhythm dance. Ike so that he has good biorhythm against the final boss. It's like really ridiculous. Because <laughs> the turn yeah, count I is mean, like exactly speedrun, so you know exactly who's gonna have what biorhythm when. I mean, when you're doing LTC strats, then 10% hit and avoid can matter a lot. It's also 10% extra skill activation, isn't it, in Radiant Dawn? Uh, I do think it it affects skill activation. Yeah, I don't know if it's 10%. Um, I would have to look that up. I'm pretty sure it's 10% because I know it's 5% in Path of Radiance, and I know that it got increased in Radiant Dawn. Okay. Makes and sense. that's what Ray told me anyway. Alright, well. Guess we'll rely on by the radiance, no one cares about Byron. Good thing I gave an iron bow. Should get a job done. I do love the nomad, the little jump the nomad does yeah, whenever he shoots cute. his bow. It's really good. I always love that. It feels really satisfying to use them. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, that works out. Let's see. Archerson. Oh, no. He's not. Although you might want to pick up the green unit. Yeah, I'm thinking about, like... I think I want to pick him up. Yeah. Uh, I would like to bait another person over here, but I can't really find a singular one that I want to bait over this turn. Uh, Wrath only needs two kills and some chip, and I have some turns left, so I think I'll just pick him up and wait a turn. Don't want him to walk out and lure more enemies than I, would, than I can, like, beat. Okay, low. Also, it's going to be a little... It's, yeah, like, it's kind of like with uh, Raven and Dart in the Dread Isle, where two units are standing next to each other, and the enemies kind of choose who to target depending on their current HP and their weapons. Except now I'm not using weapons. Did you see a guy post a huge wall of text about how uh, targeting in Path of Radiance works? It's actually a really good read. Um, Check it yeah, out I, it's the first time I've read about it, so I'm like, 
I wonder where he got that. Did he just? Is it just like? Maybe he could have just made it up. I mean, there's always the possibility that yeah. he could be like fake Deltra. But yeah, so. exactly. Um, one thing I did forget is that Priscilla. Um, okay, I think I figured this out. I'm gonna drop the green units. Let's see. So it goes here. Yeah, I'm gonna drop the Greek unit next to Isidore so that he dies. <laughs> Give. How cruel! Because I'm tired of lugging him around. He's gonna have to carry his own weight from here on out. There we go. And then uh, drop. Wait, so that puts Priscilla in range, but I can rescue her with Elliewood. And then drop with Marcus. I love a Kanto, man. Yeah, it's so cool. And an Indian that still doesn't have to do anything. Like, lazy ass Indian just made everyone else do all the work for her. So, wh why did you kill that green unit again? Like, is there a reason? Just to be. Well, funny? so that Priscilla can rescue drop if I ever need to. And, like, um, so that I could also. Like, Priscilla was carrying him, right? So, and I wanted to put Priscilla here to heal with Sedora, but then. Uh, uh, I can't rescue okay. drop Priscilla out of the way because she's holding someone. So. Right, right, right. And right, if right. I have to do it in the future now, the green unit is just no, no more factor. Because I think it just dies to this guy. I think yeah, so. Yeah. I think yeah. it's zero speed. Yeah, it's gonna get wrecked. Oh, uh, these guys don't get hard mode bonuses either. They got like normal mode stats. It's great. Because I don't think green units are any worse than red units, right? They're just regular enemies with no hard mode bonuses. I, I'm inclined to think so. I think they might be lower level because they usually get outmatched even in normal modes. They are a lower level for sure, but I don't think they're like coded to be weaker just because they're green. I, I would check, but I think my last one is about to die, so we'll never know. Eh. Love all, I love how sometimes yeah, the game takes like forever to move the next enemy because they're like, this one can't move, this one can't move, this one can't move. Yeah, they're, they're cycling through. Isn't there... Which map is it that sometimes like lags for five seconds before they do anything? I can't remember which one. There's like one particular map where you can wait like three or four seconds. Sense of time, I think? Well, that would make sense. <laughs> Sense of time. <laughs> Sand. <laughs> no, that's really heard, Yeah, you, you, you probably saw the all the scrolling here. That's like the game trying to put enemies on the screen, but of course, there's no room. There's just no room no anywhere. Room. Um, I'm just gonna heal Marcus before I forget, because he's like very close. I'm gonna have to heal next turn anyway, probably. I like technically, I should wait for he like he could dodge everything from here and out, but whatever. This way, it's safe. Mm, send the bait on our enemy over here. I think. Oh, this guy's a hand axe. Wow. Well. Well, I can I can only pull one at a time, I think, unless Wrath like one round them. Hmm. Because they're both gonna occupy the same spot, and no one else can really. Oh, well, wow, there's another guy. Well, you should only pull one, right? Maybe I should wait until the last turn. I would do that. Yeah, I think I'm gonna wait. I don't want to ruin this run because the level ups have been like fairly inconsequential for the most part. I think Kanas also levels up this chapter because it has to keep healing also when two more heals and nice. levels up. But I like yeah, a staff rank high anyway, so. Yeah, I might as well get it over with. I mean, at some point, Kanas is going to reach a point where he's not going to be a combat unit, so... He's already not, not a very good combat unit. He lost too much magic for it, man. He lost, I think, two points overall. And, like, yeah. eight, eight Magic Luna is not going to get anything done. <laughs> nope. Um. So, yeah, I think this is fine. really wish that this green unit was just gone, but he isn't. Um. Yeah, everything else, once again, seems fine. I'm just... Got a paranoid. Strategy. Yeah, paranoid. I mean, more like just trying to get comfortable. Oh god, <laughs> it happens. 66. Oh, I think that kills him if they all attack him. He's gonna die. He's gonna die. Oh fuck. Fuck you, red units. Is there a nomad behind him? Yeah, there's a nomad that can attack him. There's like four. He could dodge theoretically. Oh my fucking god, it happened. Uh, oh my god, it fucking happened. I actually never saw this kill him. I saw this happen, but I never saw it kill him. So let's uh, keep up the streak. Come oh my on. fucking god, that's Come hilarious. On. Come on. Fucking Come on. hilarious. Come on. Let's win. I mean, he, well, he's got like 75 display hit or something? 60. Yeah, maybe 75. The, the guy, other guys are like, yeah. Ouch. Oof. Ah. Wow, that is. That is. That is really frustrating. That's it. Rip. You did everything correctly and you lost to a 2% crit, but. Ah, that's, uh. Fire hey, Emblem. Wait. Fire <laughs> Emblem. Hey, wait a minute. Mecha, Mecha, Mecha. Um, isn't Hector and Oswin sort of... like? Don't they have sort of a quick C support? Um, Not very quick. Not as quick as I'd like for this map. I could put them... 
Cause, cause if I there's think, no raised uh, enemies I, near, then I guess I could put them together. Thunder Affinity, to my knowledge, has quite a void. It does. It does. Um, yes, we'll see. For At least we gotta reset right now, because I can't build support with a death unit, right? So we're gonna have to reset. We'll be right back. You do that. I'm gonna check how how fast that is. Okay. And we are back. And I changed some things, because when you die to a 2% crit, you can blame the RNG, or you can change things around. So, the way I, I actually thought that a viable option would be to get an Oswin Hector C support, <laughs> but turns out instead of the 10 turns that I thought it needed, it needs 40, so fuck that shit. <laughs> Mangs was wrong. <laughs> I don't know I... why I thought it was 10. I, I added the numbers together and it just became 10 in my head, but then I did it again and it was like 40. Wow, that's like. A big <laughs> that's difference. a huge difference. I hope that doesn't happen more often to you, because that seems like a pretty <laughs> big impairment to playing Fire Emblem. So yeah. what I did instead was. Um, I told you before that the enemy, the one range enemies move before two range enemies, and in this, uh, I don't know if it's the case for every map in this class, but for example, the knights move before everyone else. So what I did is first, uh, Oswin went here, where my cursor is, and then Dark went here. So um, same position, but one down, basically. Then once the enemies were like uh, closing in on me, and there was like nomads attacking Oswin, there was like one nomad attacking Oswin, I moved them back one square, and then all the one-range enemies filled this gap right here, now the nomads cannot attack him. And that means that even if Oswin takes two crits, he still survives. Well, I think crit plus hit, but I don't think he survives two crits, because that's 18 times two, that's a bit much. But he can take six plus 18, that's 24, he's fine against that. So as long as we keep healing him up with Kanas, because they, they seem to keep prioritizing Oswin for some reason, um, I think we should be good from here, with these units at least. Um, this place is pretty quiet right here. Uh, I'm just kind of waiting for my opportunity to bait another enemy with Wrath. Might actually be this turn, because there's only the Nomads here, and only one of them can attack him, so I think I'll go for it this turn. Put him here with like the Iron Bow so he can chip, and then next turn he can kill with the Brave Bow. And I can put the Merc here so that I can rescue Wrath out of the way or something. Uh, I don't think it really makes a difference. I can just bait the other Nomad next turn or something, kill him. They don't... Maybe, maybe if he'll keep him alive, he'll join you. <laughs> Maybe. I hope so. He's better than Raven. <laughs> <laughs> Is he? <laughs> Where? Nah, not really. I think he's maybe on par with normal mode Raven. I haven't checked. Uh, the other problem, problem. is uh, Heath is right here. I baited a Cavalier, but I didn't really pay too much attention, and there's actually a Viver that could be troublesome here. Uh, what I think I'll do is move Heath a little bit up and put everyone here out of range, but I think he might go for Isadora. That could be kind of annoying, but then again, Heath is kind of low. So actually, what I could do is... Make Heath use a Javelin, and then the guy's like, wow, Weapon Triangle double advantage, I can go for Heath. But then next unless turn... He, unless Heath actually hits and kills him. But he doesn't kill, does he? Yeah. Oh! Yeah. Doesn't the guy have two hit points left? Uh, he does. But like, I can't put Heath here, because then this Wyvern is like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, attack Heath. Why not just move Heath back? Yeah, Heath can move one up. And then, but then the Cavalier is like going here maybe because he might attack Isidora and I can't move Isidora anywhere else, see? So what I might do is make Heath a juicier target for this Cavalier while moving him up and then this guy won't be a problem because he doesn't see anyone in, in his range. And this guy might attack Isidora anyway, but if he does it's like solvable, but he might attack Heath because Heath um, is like so weak to the Lance Reaver. Like, All right. I, ho I hope he can't resist it anyway. So we'll move Heath like uh, here or something. So that the guy can never take advantage of the pillar. And we're gonna make sure Priscilla's out of range, but everything else is fine. Isidor also has a vulnerary, just in case things go wrong. If the mage attacks and hits, then Isidora will be within killing range, and the cavalier will go for Isidora. Hmm. You're actually right. Um, I can solve that by just healing Isidora and then rescuing out of the way then. I would do that. Because Thunder use... deals 10, and I'm pretty sure that guy deals 5 plus yeah. to Isidora. Yeah, you're right, actually. Um, the Cavalier moves first, though, but... Um, I yeah, don't but know. if the Cavalier moves in and hits, then the Mage kills. Yeah, exactly. It's I think it's more likely she dies if the Mage would attack first, but you're right that it's too big of a risk to take. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, attack here. So I can't use Ellie. I first. doubt he one-shot... Actually, he might one-shot Priscilla at this point. Oh, for sure. Priscilla has nothing, dude. She has nothing. <laughs> oh Let's my see, god. If I risk it with Isadora and then drop with Marcus, one, two, three, four... Drop her down. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. That works. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. He moves here, attacks here. So if I do, if I drop her here, she's fine. 
But I have to drop right here, because Marcus is like going here. Um, Marcus could... Marcus can take her back to where he is actually and just edit with you. Yeah, I could just use Marcus to get her and then drop her with Eddie Wood in the treasure room or something. That's better. That works. Yeah, just trying to make sure I don't have to use Ninian. It's like a very minor thing, but you might as well if you can help it, right? Okay, this is uh, this is pretty safe. Um, everything else here is fine. Just hope Wrath can uh, get the job done. I'd like to promote him in battle in battle preps of the next chapter or something. I'll move the gold here for whatever reason. His service might be required. I kind of forgot he was there, but he could also kill the cavalier. Okay, there we go. Okay, so the guy doesn't have crit on me. That's fine. I can use the axe reaver next turn. I love it. I love using reaver weapons to counter reaver yeah. weapons. It feels so freaking meta. <laughs> it is only the single triangle though. It's not the double triangle like reaver versus normal weapon. And yeah, they keep going uh, for us. Aren't reaver weapons double effective? Um, they're not effective in that like armor slayer effective, but no, they... I, I thought I thought a reaver penalty was twice as big. So yeah. it's, uh, instead of instead of fifteen, it's thirty. Yes, yes. So, it's, it's, so, so when you use a reaver weapon against a reaver weapon, don't you get the thirty? No, plus thirty. No, plus that's 30. only single. That's what I meant by single. Yeah. Oh yeah, I don't mean that that is doubled, but that you get the you get the normal double. Yeah. The, which is you the... don't get sixty percent. You get thirty percent. No, you get fifteen percent. Don't you get thirty? You get, you get, like, okay, so Lance Reaver versus Lance is 30. Lance Reaver yeah. versus Axe Reaver is 15. Why? Because uh, they decided to make it that way. I think really? it's, I think the idea is, uh, the way I, most people phrase it, it's like, the triangle goes back to normal when you're using Reaver weapons against Reaver weapons. Oh, I always thought they didn't. Yeah, so that's why I'm saying it here, so that people will know it. Cheesy crit. I love the little snort the horse does before the crit. It's, like, brrr, brrr. it's very charming. This oh, always made me so happy for some reason. I don't know why. Okay, the other nomad is in range too. I can just keep the brave bow. No, I think I'll just go iron bow again. Do the same thing. Yeah. You can promote him this chapter if you play your cards right. Yeah, I think uh, one more chip and then a kill might do it actually, which is good. Yeah, I got two more turns. So it should should okay. be doable. This is actually kind of scary, but uh, here we go. It is the best bet we got. There we go. It's like it's like ninety seven percent true it though, so you're you're good. I have seen weirder things. You're not gonna promote Heath, I take it? Um I will if he reaches level ten and his stats are acceptable. I have the whip from last chapter from New Resolve, and I'm also getting another whip for Farina, and I'm not promoting Florina ever, so I have no reason not to promote Heath if he reaches level Farina's level. great. Oh, oh nice, nice one. That's nice. a that's a really good level actually. Yeah. That's a really good level. <laughs> what kind of world are we living in? <laughs> Right. One, one where levels should not be. Here, building like, that support. There you speed. go. There you go. <laughs> only only seventy nine turns to go. Should be doable. Actually, it's forty, so it's thirty nine. But you know, he they probably stood next to each other a couple of times. At this Let me point. build some I think more supports here <laughs> with Marcus, Eliwood, and Ninian. <laughs> I mean, why not? I mean, it's, it's generous to assume that they maybe spent like four or five turns next to each other at this point. So, so it's like Eliwood and Marcus, uh, Eli, uh, Osman and Hector. Yeah, but chapter 12, they were very close together. Other than that, not a whole lot. My memory, they were very far apart for most of it. There are some supports in this game, like Raven and Priscilla, that are, like, doable even if you're going fast. Yeah, they're like... I think that one in particular is, like, 17 turns, which is still a lot to ask for when you're going fast. I got it in my ranked run, but I, I specifically yeah, but we said going fast. each other. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, I, I tried going fast in my ranked yeah, run because like, I... Yeah, that's the point. I, you're not going fast in your ranks. <laughs> hey, I got a, I, I actually got, a, I think, a five-star tactic. No, I got a four-star tactics ranking, actually. That's not fast. That was, like... 320 turns. This game can be beaten in like 210 or something. <laughs> well, I was also trying to 5-star all the other rankings. Alright. Uh, this is sort of risky if Wrath misses twice with the Brave Bow. But, yeah. Um, I, I would like Wrath to be promoted enough. I think his hit is like 76. There's no way he's gonna miss twice, right? right. The odds of him missing twice is... It's like 5%? That's a lot more than I'd like, but then again, I don't really have an alternative. I guess I don't really like. Yeah, it's like a, let's say I don't want to do it. I would have to. It would all be very bad. Wrath would have to vulnerary. Show me a hit rate again. Seventy-six. So that's about eighty-three percent uh, true hit. Uh, eighty-three. That's 
So uh, 17, 80, 80, 70. 80, 70, 70%, 17 percent twice. Yeah, that is actually below five percent. That's closer to three percent, three to four percent. I'm, I'm just trying to think of the hypothetical scenario where I don't want to do it's, that. It's like, would you... I mean, you risked a, ten, a, a 97% earlier. It's the same odds, really. It's the same odds as when you attack that guy with Heath. Uh-huh. True. So, nah, Heath, Heath had no risk. choice, though. Heath had no choice. He has no vulnerability. I know, but I'm just saying it's the same risk mm -hmm. you, you took with Heath. Yeah, I'm just trying to think of the hypothetical scenario where... Um, I think Lin would actually survive this guy. Let's see. Nine. All right. Eight, you mean like... Yeah, she doesn't double or anything... It doesn't get doubled, so I could heal with Wrath, put Lin in the corner. Um, I could just drop the Merc too, this turn. He could attack him and not double. I think he doesn't double. Let's see what Merc has. He could crit. <laughs> he could always crit. Uh, Merc has... What's ten. wrong with just healing Wrath? Or uh, using a Vulnerary? Oh, he could just do it here, I guess. I didn't even think of that. I don't know why. Yeah, Wrath is just choking the point, that's right. I was being all difficult by like going in the corner, but I Sometimes forgot. Sometimes the simple solutions it are is. right It is! It really can be. Alright, fuck the Shrippo. You're using a Vulnerary. I'd still... No, actually don't drop the green unit, because he's gonna fuck... He's gonna kill the Nomad, yeah. don't do it. Um, but heal but heal Wrath. Yeah, we'll use a Iron Bow, I guess. Or should he use Break Bow? Uh, Iron Bow works. Then he can finish up with Iron Bow next turn and level. I have to risk another miss though. I think I'll go Break Bow because then he just uh, he has like four chances to hit him before he has like risking death. Get it? Yeah. Let's sure. See. Sure. Actually, does it get doubled with this? Five. Five plus six speed. No, it doesn't get doubled because this guy's too low. Yeah, never mind. We're giving him Break Bow. I changed my mind, but thankfully Fiora is one that lets you change your mind. Heal this guy. It seems superfluous, but like. If, if I want him to survive crits, he has to be at, like, full HP. Yeah, we break the heal staff, that's alright. Bought one extra. Tricky. Tricky, tricky. Well, you know, it's working nice. It's working nicely. Um, this is fine, this is fine. Okay. I just thought of a really funny shit post. <laughs> Another one. Uh, like, a, an entire Fire Emblem game where I voice all of the sound effects. <laughs> <laughs> this is like... That's not ah. difficult to make, actually, I think. <laughs> <laughs> it's just me making all of the sound effects. Uh, you should make Let Me Voice the Crits and just be like, nice. Yeah. <laughs> or on the nice. level up, the plus ones on level up should be like, nice, 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 nice. nice, nice, nice. <laughs> oh my god. Slendy. <laughs> Come here, <laughs> I got work for you. <laughs> I mean, I think the problem is space, because like, there's not a lot. You gotta import the MIDI files into a ROM. You got very limited space to work with them. I think it could. T I mean, people have like done like. Oh God. Wow, that guy actually figured it he out. Got, he got Holy bored. Shit. <laughs> Holy shit! It's like, guys, you can go around. You can go around. Oh God, <laughs> you're coming for me. Good thing Legolas Whoa. is here. Why did that guy decide to do that all of a sudden? I don't know, sudden, uh, maybe, sudden maybe intelligence thought... boost. It's the last turn, though. Wow. Oh, the gold is too far away. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to dance him. Um, oh no! What will you do? It's fine. Just gotta save Heath, basically. I think the gold like one rounds these guys with the killing edge. Let's see. <laughs> Imagine combining a sound effect with me singing the soundtrack. Do, 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 okay, I think he can still sort one rounds. Yeah, I think I'll just dance for him and then. I don't think he dies to anything, but I can probably rescue him out with, um... Let's see. I have to dance for him, because there's no other way to get anyone with, like, offensive capabilities there. Um... Shitty dance. She the dance. Actually, not a funny thing I could do is just move the gold right in front of him. And then he's gonna move like last, because all the one range enemies move first. And that way I don't even have to get XP. It's the last turn, so like, who cares? Can There's you some... steal something from him? No. Um, I'm just trying There's to steal for ranged enemies, because there's one here. He does 17, so he does 10 damage. There's a monk here. I would Seven not damage. risk it. 10 damage. Six. He's gonna die. He doesn't have crit or anything. That's the only ranged you, enemies. You'll, t you'll take two nomads, dude. Um, well, that does they're depend not, on when this nomad does anything. They're, they're, they're not going to move to the left of him. Okay, so if I take two nomads, 
He takes 10 and 10. So he's like down to 20. And the monk could finish him off, I guess. Because he's 10. The 6 attack. Even if I heal him. Uh, I would 20. just place leg ult in front of the mage and tank the doorway with the Sadora. Um, I actually like swap. that better. You mean move him in front swap. of the knight? Or, 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 or yeah, I get what In front you, of the yeah. mage. Just yeah. swap, swap their equipment around. Heal Isadora first, just to be safe. And uh, just uh, swap their equipment around so like all tanks the mage and Isadora tanks the Do Do Dore. Yeah, that works, I think. Just uh, I need to make sure Priscilla is safe, but she needs to get healed this turn. You can heal, uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. I just heal her and then rescue drop her out of the way with um, Marcus again, and then they would. Yeah. Um, but then this dance was kind of dumb. Let's see. So heal Isadora. Whose weapon is she gonna take? The golds, I guess. Just swap them around. Oh, right, she can eat. Nah, it doesn't matter. I mean, she's gonna get too ranged anyway. Just place her on the lower end of the door. Yeah, just put her here, you mean. No, just... Yeah, but but give make sure Legault... You, you don't want Legault to kill the, the mage with a crit or something, so you want to make sure Legault is disarmed if you can. Yeah, I think that might be the best way to do it. <laughs> Alternatively, there is something funny you can do. You can just drop a mine, and then that'll stop him. <laughs> yeah, just reset during enemy phase, that will stop all the enemies. <laughs> no, but uh, if enemies move over mine, their movement yeah, gets yeah, interrupted. Yeah, I was joking around. Let's see. All right. So heal. It's like that time where you did the escape from the Manx dungeon, and Gast was like, "If I use this mine, can you like, can you can you reset the game?" <laughs> <laughs> like, no. Yeah. <laughs> all right, give me all your shit. Iron sword. Go Rip here. no mine. And then, I think Paul just goes here with nothing, I guess. And then, I should probably have picked him up with this, but whatever. Let's see, pick up. I don't even have to drop her. No. But I'm gonna, I'm not gonna. <laughs> Fuck it. Hold don't her. do it, it's the last turn, dude. dude. Don't fall into pitfalls. Oh! I forgot oh! about Heathy, nope. <laughs> Great advice, man. <laughs> Great advice. Oh, just shit, him wait a minute. Does, does Heath have a Bonary? No. Oh, you're so fucked. Damn, fuck you. Bad advice. Bad Manx. Oh, Bad. What? what? How, how is this my fault? <laughs> Bad Manx. This is how you felt. Oh. Bad. Uh, wow. Wait a minute. Okay, so... Yeah, you... Bad. Bad. How, how could this have been averted? Oh, you um, could have killed the guy, I guess, with the Yeah, I should just kill him. Okay, you know what? There is something you can do. Kill him with Marcus and hope that Ninian survives. <laughs> Great plan. I love it. Especially with like Edward holding Priscilla. Hey, he's they have axe reavers. He could he could dodge. I think he even tanks one. No he doesn't. He's at one HP. <laughs> I mean it's better than letting Heath die, right? Like For Heath sure. will die. Heath will die, one hundred percent. Like he But with the Alleywood, you could theoretically. I'll tell you a survive. funny story though, Marcus doesn't kill this guy. He is on the illness. Oh speed. what really? Yeah. But maybe if you injure him you'll trigger his retreat. This is not Path of Radiance. <laughs> I can kill with Heath, <laughs> and then Heath faces like 10 more enemies. Uh, oh, 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 uh, no, you can't mine. You can't mine. Well, I use Killing Edge. It, 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 she has a Killing Edge. There's a chance you could crit. This is true, but I still have to face this whole bombardment of it's, enemies. It's safer than Heath taking that arrow, because Minion has some avoid. Okay, but Elliewood is also here, right? Yeah, but they have Axe Reverse, and he's wielding a sword. I think the Steel Lance ones might move first. One, two, three, four. Because they're like, they appeared earlier. I think they'll just go wreck Elliewood. I honestly feel like Heath has better avoid chances than Elliewood against the Steel Lance Knights. Alright. I think that's what I'm going for. It is terrible, though. It's absolutely terrible. Just make sure you give him a weapon that doesn't slow him down. Yeah. I think he has an Iron Lance that could work. This was dumb. This or... is a dumb one. Too late. He's half. Yeah, he's almost there. You can get a mage, I guess. He's, uh, he's too low. Can't do it. All right, Heath. Let's go. Let's go dodge. And I don't think he even lost one. I have no faith. I have no faith in this run. It would be funny if, if, if I would fucking laugh now if Oswin gets if Oswin and died dies, and then Heath survives. And yeah. then Heath survives. <laughs> oh my god, that would have been the fucking funniest shit ever. Holy shit. Why did I listen? Okay, it's fair. I'll owe up to my mistake. I'll remember that. I should not have listened to Max. Oh, that was, that was a big mistake. Come on. <laughs> oh, I... 
feel I feel wrongly accused. Shouldn't be. It's all your fault. No, what I should have done is uh, killed the guy with Isadora. I hate the walk to shame thing that Fire Emblem does sometimes. Uh. Where you just have to wait a long enemy phase to die. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? It's really annoying. BRP. Okay, we're back in the same position, but this time we, we remember that this guy is actually here. Um, update on other units. Wrath, he, uh, he got a strength level up, but I don't think he got speed. Kanas actually got a blank level up this time off camera. What? <laughs> oh my god, you're so lucky. Sometimes I can be lucky. Uh, Heath is Only in trapped. this regard. Mm -hmm. Heath actually hit the guy with his uh, lance despite having double triangle disadvantage, which was also kind of epic. Didn't matter, but it was kind of funny. Um, but now I'm thinking like, should I kill this um, this douchebag nomad with Legault or Isadora? I think like, Isadora doesn't waste the killing I choose, but then she does it, whereas Legault might. Uh, then again, I can just get... No, I don't. I need to kill him. Um, the gold you have to. Like, yeah. 89 hit is pretty good. Uh, it's actually the same. I forgot these have the same hit. Uh, but Isadora with an Iron Lance, I think, has an even better hit. But actually, I would have to trade what, Can he sword. kill him with an Iron Sword? Iron Lance. Uh, iron Sword. Can Legault with an Iron Sword kill him? No. No. He's close, but no. Uh, Worm Slayer also works. <laughs> Worm Slayer is actually pretty good. Let's see, where's my Iron Lance? I brought one on Isidora. I know I did that. Oh, actually, he's on here. Right, okay, so... I have to use... Let's see... Steel Sword Isidora would also work, I think. But I think her skill is, like... It's actually worse than Legault's. So, Legault is just a survival. I'll just kill him with Legault then. Do that. If I miss, I can dance. Good boy. I like how he shanks a horse. He's like, yeah. Shank, shank the horse. The golden supports is pretty clear about the fact that he's not a skilled fighter or anything. He's just a sneaky guy that knows how to stab people. Yeah. Um, I think. like how he cuts off Isadora's like sword scabbard while they're talking. And he's like, haha, try to fight me now. Seven, two, three, four. Yeah, I could just dance with Ninian pretty safely. Um, or you could rescue, that doesn't take an experience. Yeah. Uh, Isadora needs to be healed, by the way. That's why I'm thinking about rescuing, because, let's see, I would heal Isadora, rescue Legault with Isadora. Just re rescue rescue Legault with Isadora, heal Isadora, rescue uh, Priscilla with Hollywood. It's done. Come again. It's last turn. <laughs> Just re rescue Legault with Isadora, heal Isadora, and rescue is Priscilla with Hollywood. Yeah, I guess. Then, yeah, yeah, sure, why not? Okay. Yeah. Isadora is so fast, right? She's not gonna get doubled even with half speed. <laughs> now you get to no, no. Oh, right, you gotta this take also her. Works. All right. Why? Why not? She'd survive. She'd survive, right? I mean, she would get killed if you don't. No, but why? Why take? Couldn't you just now? You gotta get is Priscilla. Oh, right, you can dance, but that costs you ten experience. You could have done it without using ten XP. Whatever. I'm tired of this chapter. <laughs> <laughs> I know, now you know how it feels! <laughs> if someone offers stupid advice and you just want to finish. Hey, my advice is never stupid. It's, if it's stupid, it's less, like, it's more than, it's in the way of can you or can't you. Oh, you gotta, how do you deal with that archer though? I uh, just kill him with the wrath, I think. Or okay. just have a wrath hide. Lin, go Lin. Lin. Can't you just, pull, can you pull back wrath and promote him? Uh, yeah, I can actually promote him this turn. That's a good way to do it. Then you have him promoted at the start of the next... Uh... Yeah, I don't have to heal him. Yay. <laughs> Yay. Let's go. Full potential wrath. Feel my wrath. And Lin and base and also... Um, Lin is going to defend wrath. <laughs> there we go. It's hilarious. Yeah, this is some decent stats. And, and he gets experience really slowly too now. I like how he gets so much defense. <laughs> he does. Go, Lin, defend two better units. Alright, this is. Archer uh, crit, dead Lin. He doesn't have crit on him. <laughs> on her. Oh, sh oh shit, stealable door key. You missed out. Go, to go. Replay, Get replay it. Replay chapter. Get it. You're gonna run into a situation where you need one extra door key. I bought door keys. <laughs> Remember, I already counted out my lockpick uses. This is not gonna happen to me. Nice I'm job, gonna Oswin. end up like me in my final chapter in Chaser 776 with zero door keys. 
G freaking G. I had to send pawn around to every single one of the openings. It was awful. At least you have a warp staff in that case. I used up mine. <laughs> wow. Max didn't hoard enough. Pitfall. I, I have the opposite problem of hoarding with Fire Emblem. Yeah. I expend my resources way too quickly. Yeah. You're like, you, you use Dundun. <laughs> you use resources like Dundun, but you play yeah. the tempo of Blazing Light. Yeah. That's an old joke. <laughs> Still, it fits though. Yes. What you say? What did you say? Leave now Yay. and never come back! Alright, Kinship's Bond has been bonded. Has been bound. We found new Woo! resolve. <laughs> we found new resolve. We did Kinship's Bond. And next we're gonna go meet a living legend. <laughs> Pence. Oh yeah! Yeah, I'll be here too. <laughs> Bye guys, like and subscribe. <laughs>